It's just a tiny pinprick, but it can save lives. For the approximately 400 million diabetics worldwide, a drop of blood is all that it takes to measure blood sugar levels. This is made possible using special test equipment. Such a process is called lab on a chip. It works like this. Within seconds, the system analyzes blood samples and then gives a reading of the blood sugar level. The ability to replace a complete laboratory with rapid tests such as these is the dream of many researchers. Andreas Mance's pioneering invention is a big step in this direction. The chemist has shrunk the lab to the size of a chip. I was one of the first to employ microchip technology in the field of chemistry and to have shrunk the laboratory to the size of a chip. Today, Mance teaches at the Korean Institute of Science and Technology in Saarbrücken. Here, he can pass his wealth of experience on to his students. His world-famous mini-chip was conceived in the 1980s. Working on behalf of a pharmaceutical company at that time, Mance was able to take all the functions of an entire laboratory and put them onto a single chip. What was new was that we integrated equipment and hoses and valves from the laboratories into tiny tubules on a chip, as you can see here. And this method allowed us to bring the device to go, so to speak. A lab in your pocket, which is cheaper and much faster. The mini lab works like this. On the chip, there are tiny channels and depressions for the flow of liquids. So, for example, if a drop of blood is applied, blood passes through chemical sensors. They detect the concentration of chemical compounds in the blood and translate them into electrical signals. In turn, they provide, for example, indicators for diseases or genetic predispositions. The initial impetus for the invention was a catastrophic fire that occurred in a Swiss chemical plant. Toxins got into the Rhine and tens of thousands of fish died. Due to the environmental disaster, Mance was awarded research grants in 1986. With the grants, he was to develop a system that helps analyze water samples faster without a laboratory. After the river catastrophe, we had the idea to develop a new device called a lab on a chip which could detect various chemicals in river water. Later on, we discovered that these chips could also be used very well in other areas of pharmaceutical research and in clinical diagnosis. Today, scientists around the world continue to develop the idea. Mance is also still involved in the field of research. He currently oversees a project that will help to mimic human cells in the laboratory. Animal testing could thus become a thing of the past. And lab on a chip still holds much untapped promise. In the future, I think the lab on a chip technology will be used primarily in the fields of medicine, pharmaceutical research, forensic chemistry, and in many other areas. The man who shrunk the laboratory is now nominated for the European Inventor Award in the Lifetime Achievement category. A tiny chip could end up bringing him even more huge success. At first I was a bit surprised, but I must say that I'm delighted and very proud to be nominated. Whether Andreas Mantz actually receives the coveted European Inventor Award will be revealed in June at the big awards ceremony in Paris.